we've got more connections to report between Joe Biden and Hunter's business deals. Fox News Digital revealing that Eric Schwerin, who is Hunter's longtime business partner, visited the Obama White House and Joe Biden's vice presidential residence at least 36 times between 2009 and 2016. The president of the Government Accountability Institute, Peter Schweitzer, joined me on Sunday Morning Futures on Sunday, saying that Schwerin was in control of the Biden money. I would add the next shoe that may drop is there's another individual involved with Hunter Biden named Eric Schwerin. He's the guy that moved money around, and based on the Hunter Biden laptop, Schwerin had access not only to Hunter Biden's accounts, but also Joe Biden's accounts. Joining me right now is Tennessee Congressman Tim Burchett. He is a member of the House Oversight and Foreign Affairs Committee. Congressman, good to see you this morning. Uh, we are good waiting tomorrow. to see what shoe drops next here. We know that Eric Schwerin is going to be testifying in front of Jim Jordan's committee. Uh, what are your thoughts on what we're learning now about Hunter Biden's business affairs and how <coughs> much Joe Biden was involved? I think, first of all, Mr. Schwerin's testimony is going to be imperative to what's going on. You know, he is controlling the Biden family's money. Um, and, and the visits that he made, of course, to the Naval Observatory, which is where the vice president lives. You know, I, I've been in Congress five years, Maria, and I've been there one time. This guy was there, there at least 36 times. So there's clearly some involvement there. And, and the money the money trail just never seems to end. Is the, you know, they keep saying the, shoe, the, the next shoe's going to fall. This this is an octopus. It just More shoes just keep falling with this guy again. Of course, I'm anxious to see Jim Jordan uh, cross-examine him in, in testimony because it's going to be very interesting. Yeah, Peter Schweitzer also told me that uh, Joe Biden used a cell phone, and that <laughs> cell phone could unlock a lot of information. That's the number that the then vice president was using, Joe Biden, and he had to speak with Hunter, bu Hunter's business partners through that phone. Here's Peter Schweitzer on Sunday. Watch. That's right. When you look at the billing on the laptop, this cell phone that Hunter Biden, sorry, that Joe Biden carried as vice president of the United States was actually paid for by Rosemont, the Archer uh, Hunter Biden business. And it's pretty clear this is the phone of contact when Hunter was with his business partners and was calling his dad, or when one of the other business associates, Eric Schwering, is calling Joe Biden. He's using this phone number. Uh, we shared that phone number with the household. Oversight Committee, Congressman Comer's committee. I don't know if they've subpoenaed it yet, but this could be the lock that, uh, sorry, the pick that unlocks everything. Congressman, what about that phone? Do you have that phone? No, I do not. But um, as you, as was stated, Chairman Comer, of course, is on top of it. You know, the, the key to this whole thing is the, is the fact that all this is all tied together and has influenced in the uh, this White House currently. And, you know, you got to ask yourself, when is this Justice Department going to take note of all of this illegal dealings? You know, you have Hunter Biden, who's who's obviously um, communicating with foreign foreign embassies, foreign businesses, yet is not registered as a foreign agent. You and I would be, you know, they would be breaking down our doors and putting us in handcuffs over something like that, Maria. Yet once again, there's a double standard here with the Biden crime family. Yeah, unbelievable. Do you have a new read on how much money you think the Biden family has taken in from foreigners? <laughs> well, uh, you know, I stopped counting at about 20 million. So, I, I mean, at what point, too, are they going to start having to show that they paid taxes on it? Again, mm -hmm. you and I sell $600 worth of stuff on eBay. We get a letter right. from the IRS. There's no there's no evidence that they've even paid any taxes on this stuff. And and then you have the the other media that won't even pay it any attention. It's just it's it's collusion all the way around with this thing. Meanwhile, uh, President Trump's indictments are dominating the conversation on mainstream media. The former president's legal team now pushing back on special counsel Jack Smith, asking for a protective order to limit the president from publicly discussing the evidence in the January 6th criminal case. The attorneys are arguing that only genuinely sensitive material should be blocked right now from the public view. Trump posted this on social media, that Joe Biden is behind this uh, prosecution. He writes, uh, well, he now wants thug prosecutor deranged Jack Smith to file for a court order taking away my First Amendment rights speech. Uh, Congressman, what do you make yeah. of all of this? The 
Former president has the next hearing on August 28th, and we're expecting that a trial date will be announced right in the middle of the campaign season, right? Yes, ma'am, and President Trump is correct. What, what you're saying, Maria, is, is Jack Smith is going to limit President Trump's ability to rebut claims against him. So all the other challengers, Joe Biden included, will make all these accusations and tie it to these cases, and Jack Smith's making it illegal for President Trump to even talk about it. So it's, it's a violation of First Amendment. It's completely unconstitutional. And also you have the fact that they're using a... A, um, a, a, a the investigator, the um, um, out of Washington D.C. is is the now you yeah. know yes no ma'am the um, um, well the, the group that gets together the grand that, jury I'm sorry. the grand the grand, grand jury, jury in yes, Washington ma yeah. the grand jury in Washington mm -hmm. is now investigating something in Florida so you have a, a it, it, it's just completely irrational and illegal everything that's going on and then they're going to try this thing in washington dc where president trump received maybe four percent of the vote i mean give me a break this yeah. is this thing is just it, it it's just cooked up and it and it's already settled before the before the jury even meets so it's, it's yeah. completely ridiculous well, we're following it all, Congressman. We so appreciate your t your leadership on all of this. We'll we'll uh, continue to uh, stay with you. Thank you, sir, Congressman Tim Burchett, you, joining us this morning.